This video is about systems of linear equations in two variables and their graphs. For 8th graders. 8th graders, welcome to your virtual classroom. Just a few reminders for your convenience. Get a sheet of paper and a pen to answer the exercises. To make sure you comprehend and follow through the concepts in the video, pause and replay the video at any time in any point. Now you are ready. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Describe and illustrate systems of linear equations into variables. And graph a system of linear equations into variables. Now that you have known the objectives of this video, let's begin. Let us recall on graphing linear equations into variables. Let us draw the graph of each of the following linear equations in a Cartesian plane. How do we graph this equation? Note that the equation is in the slope-intercept form. Therefore, we can graph this equation using its slope, which is 3, and y-intercept, which is 2. We can also express the y-intercept as the ordered pair 0, 2. Now we start by plotting the point 0, 2 and using the slope, which is 3. We write 3 units 1, 2, 3, and run 1 unit to the right. Our second point is 1, 5. Connecting the two points, we have the graph of the equation y is equal to 3x plus 2. Let us go to our second equation, which is 2x plus y is equal to 5. Now take note that the graph is in the standard form. We can express this into the slope-intercept form if we want to graph this equation using the slope-intercept form. Now the slope is negative 2 and the y-intercept is 5. Expressing 5 into the ordered pair 0, 5 will make our work easy. Now, let us plot 0, 5 first, right here. Then using our slope, which is negative 2, we can rise 2 units up, 1, 2, and run 1 unit to the left since it is a negative slope, 1. Our second point is negative 1, 7. Connecting the two points, we now have the graph of our equation 2x plus y is equal to 5. Notice that the graphs suggest that the graph of a linear equation is a vertical line. To recall on how to express linear equations from the standard form to the slope-intercept form, please check out my video on expressing linear equations from the standard form to the slope-intercept form and vice versa. Now going back to our lesson, the two graphs here suggest that the graph of a linear equation is a vertical line. What about the graph of the system of linear equations? How does a graph of a system of linear equations look like? Let's check out the following examples. We have y is equal to negative x plus 7 and y is equal to 2x plus 1. Number 2, y is equal to 5x minus 2 and y is equal to 5x plus 3. And our third example is y is equal to 3x plus 6 and 2y is equal to 6x plus 12. For example, number 1, both the equations are in the slope-intercept form. Now, we can create a table to organize the slopes and the y-intercepts of each equation. For equation y is equal to negative x plus 7, the slope is negative 1, and the y-intercept is 7. For equation y is equal to 2x plus 1, the slope is 2, 
and the y-intercept is 1. Now let us plot and graph. This is our first line. y is equal to negative x plus 7. And this is our second line. y is equal to 2x plus 1. We can see that our graphs intersect at 2, 5. That is the solution to the system. For example, number 2, we can see that both equations are in the slope-intercept form. Again, we can create a table to organize the slopes and y-intercepts of each linear equation. For equation y is equal to 5x minus 2, our slope is 5 and our y-intercept is negative 2. For equation y is equal to 5x plus 3, our slope is 5 and our y-intercept is 3. Take note that the equations have the same slope, which is 5. Now let us plot and graph. This is our y is equal to 5x minus 2. And this is our y is equal to 5x plus 3. We can see that our graphs do not intersect. They are parallel to each other. Now, what do you think is the solution to the system? Let's find out, so hang tight as we finish the video. For example, number 3, y is equal to 3x plus 6 and 2y is equal to 6x plus 12. Let us first express our 2y is equal to 6x plus 12 into the slope-intercept form. Take note that when we simplify the second equation to express it in the slope-intercept form, it is the same as with our first equation. Therefore, they have the same slopes and y-intercept. Now, how do you think the graph looks like if the linear equations do have the same slope and the same y-intercept? That is our y is equal to 3x plus 6, and this one is our 2y is equal to 6x plus 12. That is right. Their graphs coincide. Now let us stretch those hands and brain cells. Let us try activity 10.1, Draw Me. Determine the slopes and y-intercepts in each system. Then draw the graph of each pair of linear equations using the same Cartesian plane for each system. Use a separate sheet of graphing paper in sketching the graphs. You can pause and replay this video as needed. I hope that you got the correct answers. Let us dig and discover more about this topic. Focus on each pair of linear equations in activity 10.1 and give your observations. Answer the following questions using your own idea. Which pair of the equations have graphs that are intersecting? How many points of intersection do the graphs have? What are the coordinates of their point or points of intersection? And which pair of equations has graphs that are not intersecting? And why? What do you call the pairs of linear equations that you have answered in activity 10.1? Those pairs of linear equations are called simultaneous linear equations or systems of linear equations. Systems of linear equations is a set or collection of linear equations, all of which must be satisfied. It can be written as ax plus by equals c and dx plus ey is equal to f, where a, b, c, d, e, and f are all real numbers. And the coefficients of x and y are not both zero for each equation. The points of intersection of the graphs of two linear equations is the solution of the system. 
A solution of such equations is an ordered pair of numbers that satisfies both equations. The solution set of a system of linear equations into variables is the set of ordered pairs of real numbers that make the equation in the system true. In our illustration, the solution is 2, 5. The solution of the system of linear equations can be determined algebraically through substitution or elimination. That would be an opportunity for another discussion. Or graphically, where we are going to learn in this video. To find the solutions graphically, graph both equations in a Cartesian plane, then find the point of intersection of the graph if it exists. The solution of the system of linear equations corresponds to the coordinates of the points of intersection of the graphs of the equation. Better look at this. To determine how many solutions each of the pair of equations have, check out this table. The systems in this table is taken from activity 10.1. Let us graph each of the system of equations in one Cartesian plane to check if the number of solutions in each system of linear equations is correct. And let's describe the graph of each system. Our first system is y is equal to negative 3x plus 4 and y is equal to 3x minus 2. The system has exactly one solution, which is 1, 1. And the lines are intersecting. Our second system is y is equal to 5x plus 4 and negative 5x plus y equals negative 2. This system does not have a solution. The lines are parallel, meaning they do not intersect. They do not have a common point. Now, for our third system, 3y is equal to x plus 5 and negative 2x plus 6y equals 10, the system has infinitely many solutions. For example, point A, point B, point C, point D, and point E. This blue line right here is 3y is equal to x plus 5. And the red line right here is negative 2x plus 6y equals 10. The lines coincide. Therefore, every point on the lines are solutions to the system. A system of linear equations has only one solution if their graphs intersect at one point. No solution if their graphs do not intersect. And infinitely many solutions if their graphs coincide. Now that we know the three graphs showing the solution to the system of linear equations, which are intersecting lines, parallel lines, and coinciding lines, let's determine the solutions of systems of linear equations. Now, it's your turn. Activity 10.2. Determine the number of solutions of the system of linear equations by graphing. Then, describe whether the lines are intersecting, parallel, or coinciding. Use a separate sheet of graphing paper in sketching the graph. We have five systems of linear equations to work on. In this column, you are going to tell the number of solutions of each system, whether one, none, or many. And then, in this column, you are going to describe the kind of system.
And don't forget, system of linear equations is a set or collection of linear equations, all of which must be satisfied. It can be written as ax plus by equals c and dx plus ey equals f where a b c d e and f are real numbers and of course the coefficients of x and y are not equal to zero for each of the equations the solution of the system of linear equation is the point of intersection of the graphs of two linear equations. It is an ordered pair of numbers that satisfies both equations. A system of linear equations has only one solution if their graphs intersect at one point. No solution if their graphs do not intersect. And infinitely many solutions if their graphs coincide. Congratulations! We just finished Lesson 1 of Module 10. This has been your teacher, Miss Mary-Kate. Get involved and keep on learning. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you are new to my channel, please hit subscribe and the notification bell. Don't forget to write your comments and suggestions in the comments section below.